Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be showing you how to install a torque converter. Um, this torque converter costs around $100 on Go Power Sports, so make sure you go check them out. And besides that, let's get right into so it. First, what you're going to want to do, well, I already have mine put together, but I'm going to take it back apart just to show you guys. So first, you have 15, 15 16 nut that goes right on your shaft and then right after that you have just a washer then your pulley this part's extremely easy so there went our key so we're going to take all this back apart all right so now we have just our mounting plate i guess you could call it so first you're going to take this bolt slide it back through this hole and a lot of this stuff is keyed. I don't think this is keyed. It is not keyed. But it does have a little uh, bushing in there that you need it uh, to keep it lined up. So now that we've got that through there, we're going to go ahead, take this, put this. It's got a little key slot in it for your key. So you're going to slide that over. Then you're going to take your key, put it right down in the key slot. Slide it down in there. That should go in all really, really easy. Now, once you got all that stuff, you want to make sure your key slot is there, like that. Now, you're going to take your, well, mine came with a 41 or a 35. I have the 35, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to slide that down on here, like so, making sure your key holes are lined up. And there you go. You're, Sprocket is on. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this pulley and slide it over the keyhole. Make sure all that stuff is lined up, and then there you go. So you're going to take this washer. Eh, it's probably, it's not very thick, but you'll know what it is when you're watching the video. So we're going to go ahead and put that over. Then take our six, 15 16 to my bad, and we're gonna slide it down on here like that. Right now we're just gonna hand tighten this. We're not gonna we're not gonna tighten it down with the impact or anything. So there you go. This is finished. Now we're moving on to your drive pulley, and so here it is. Well, the the uh, clutch. My bad. Uh, so here's the first piece. And this is really, really easy to put together. Mine's pretty much all together so far. But this little thing right here, when it first comes, it's probably not going to be like this. So we're just going to go ahead and pop this off. Okay, so now we got this thing off. And it just came out of here like this. We'll just pop this thing out too. But I've already had this on my mini bike, so it's pretty, it's pretty fused together. So we're just going to go ahead and bang this out of here. Okay. Got all this stuff off. Here's our pulley completely apart. Like I said, I've been running the heck out of this thing. So you have this thing. I'm not sure what it's called, but I will show you how to put it on. So if you see, it's got like a little flat side right here. We're just gonna go ahead and line that up with these flat sides. And you just put that in there like so. Mine is a little wobbly. It is worn out, like I said, just from all the motor. And so that's put in there. And you want it, it's not going to play like this when you first get it. But now we're going to take this piece and put it right in here like so. And there is a key slot on it. And there is a key slot in this little piece of tubing right there. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Yeah. So it's right there. So if you see that, now you got all that stuff flat and flush put together. We're going to take the other side of our clutch and piece it together like so. And then you got all of these little grooves, grooves there. You're just going to line them up. And there you go. Now you have this brass bushing that goes over top of the shaft on your engine. But in this case, it's going to go over this just to keep your belt. Let me grab the belt. 
Okay, so if you can imagine this, your belt is going to be trying to grab if you don't have this little bushing on it. So if you have the bushing on, it's going to spin like that, and it won't wear the this piece, this little collar sticking up, it won't wear it out as fast. And I believe you can get these on Go Power Sports for like $2. So if yours breaks or isn't in your kit, you can either send your kit back or you can just spend two dollars and get this so now that we got that we're going to just take the bushing slide it over not too hard then we are going to take this piece of the torque converter and basically it just sits down on it like that but we're going to go ahead and get the engine sitting right about here all right so to install the plate you are going to need a 10 millimeter socket i have a deep one uh, you can use a shallow. These bolts are not deep at all. Very easy to put on. So we're going to go ahead and start installing them. So what holes you're going to use. This will work for any Honda engine, any Predator, or the Baja 196cc engines. Um, so you're going to see the six holes on each group. You're going to use the bottom middle one right there. You're going to use these ones. So I haven't had them marked out. You can see where I've had the torque converter on. But we're going to go ahead and slide that on. When I was mounting this, I figured that you were going to need to cut the back little piece off of the oil fill plug. So once you do that, you have to take your little piece of sheet metal it's a heat shield that goes over these cooling fins so you take I, I believe it's four eight millimeter uh, bolts out and then you remove that and then we're going to go ahead and slide this over move the bolts out of the way slide it over like so now if you're on a workbench I would well if you're not on a workbench I would suggest getting on one because you're going to need to like the torque converter will be sitting kind of at an angle like that so first, I like to put the top two in. So we're just gonna put them in like so. And I like to hold the torque converter with one hand and thread the top bolts in with my hand, just a little bit, not anything crazy. So once you do that, you can kind of you can kind of wiggle it around, find the hole. So once we got those in, now the torque converter will stay there. Okay, so now that we have these four in, we're going to go ahead and I got just a DeWalt um, drill. I have the clutch set to 17. That usually works good enough, so we're going to go ahead and put these in like so. Kind of do like a star pattern if you want. Kind of helps. I'm not going to do it just because I have already put these things in. Okay, so now that we got the torque converter plate and the back pulley installed, we are going to go ahead and start installing the belt and the front clutch. What you're going to want to do is you're going to have this washer. This one is going to go over first, all the way back to the crankshaft. And then you're going to have this big washer is in front, slide it all the way back. Then you're going to start with your first piece of pulley with the brass bushing installed so now we're gonna go ahead and this is keyed so don't worry about having a key and we're just gonna find that key slot which I already did we're gonna slide that all the way back to the back okay so now we're gonna go ahead and install this belt you're gonna want to look at your belt and usually it says this side toward the engine so that would be the flat side so if you look here there's a flat side and then there's a side that is it's kind of at like an angle so you're going to want to take that and press it put the flat side towards the engine and then just take this spin it around like so well we'll go ahead and we'll put it around the big pulley first and then we'll just slide it up over like so All right, now that your belt's on, you can go ahead and install your big piece of pulley and clutch. So, 
now that we have that, we're going to find the key slot for it, slide it on, there you go. So your torque converter is almost finished, now you're going to take, this bolt did not come with my kit, it can't, well there was a bolt with it, but it just happened to be the wrong thread pattern, so I had to go to Truck Supply and get another one. So that wasn't that hard of a deal, bad of a deal. So we're going to go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, now that we have all of this tightened up, that is the video, okay? This engine will be going on my Baja dirt bug, so stay tuned for those videos. This is going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome video. And I'm getting ready to paint my dirt bug. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. If you like the video, please tell me in the comments. And always be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can see when I upload something. And besides that, we'll see you in the next one.